This is Kyle with www.extreme-days.com and I have a cool little tip for you, everyone. If you're not a geek then this probably won't mean a whole lot to you but it can provide you with some very useful information. If you've ever pressed Control alt delete and have chosen Task Manager then you'll know that you can monitor CPU usage and all of the programs and applications currently running on your computer. Most people only use this when their computer freezes up and they don't know what else to do to unfreeze it. But sometimes it is very useful to have a shortcut for this, either on your desktop or in your quick launch bar. But this can be difficult to accomplish if you aren't very computer savvy. Now this is the part where I come in and teach you how to do this little task in a matter of 20 seconds or less. That being said, let's get started with this. So first off, you're going to need to go to your desktop. I do this by using the keyboard shortcut, Windows key plus D. Just like this, and it shows my desktop. If you don't know what the Windows key is, it's in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard, right between the control button and the alt button. Just hold that key down and press the D key on your keyboard at the same time, and your computer will minimize everything and show your desktop, as you can see here. Now you need to right click on a blank spot and go to the tab that says new and then shortcut. Click that and this box will pop up on your screen that says this wizard helps you to create shortcuts to the local or network programs of files, folders, computers, or internet addresses. Type the location of the item. Below that there's a box right here where you can type in uh, text. Click on the box and type task mgr dot exe and then press the next button. It will now be shown a screen that looks like this. Now there will be another box asking you to state the name of the shortcut. You can put whatever you choose in this box, but in my case I'm going to put the task manager. Then just click finish and you'll see the new icon on your desktop. Your icon may not look the same as mine does, but it still should be the same thing. At this point, you're almost complete. There's only one more step if you'd like to customize it a little bit more for your liking. To do this, you'll need to double-click the shortcut you just created, and you should see that familiar screen. In the top bar, click Options, and in the drop-down list, there should be a few things that are already ticked. If not, don't worry, they don't need to be ticked. In that list, there sh will be an option that says Hide When Minimized, which is right here. Just click on that and you're all set. Now when you minimize that window, it won't show up in your taskbar. But if you look to the right in your system tray, you'll see a new icon there that shows the CPU usage on your computer. Now, whenever you want to see how much CPU your computer is using, you just need to look in the system tray and you'll get that little icon showing the estimate of how much CPU is being used. For this tip, I do need to cite one source for this. I found this information at the link below. It's technet.microsoft.com slash en.us slash library slash bunch of random letters and numbers dot ASPX and I thought it was useful when I found it so I figured I'd pass it on to all of you guys remember if you think you have a tip or trick that's useful then contact me and let me know if I think it's good enough I might even make a video out of it for you